right on the Laura Strathman candidate for the 388 court. Um, tell us why you're running. Why am I running? I'm running because I've been practicing family law for the last 10 years in the family courts of El Paso. I love what I do. Judge Macias decided to step down. And when she decided to step down, I felt that was my opportunity to go ahead and step into the seat and continue, continue serving the people of El Paso and the families of El Paso. I know the law. I work hard. I want to work hard for the families of El Paso. So I'm seeking the 388 Judicial District. Most people that are going to be watching this, uh, and most people that are certainly going to be voting in this election will probably never, ever step foot in your court and have very few, uh, very little experience with the judicial system. So. What could you tell them in terms of how they should make their decision? What should they be looking for? What what what, what are the determinative factors in selecting someone? Okay. Um, two things. First, I'm, I'm going to comment on people t stepping foot in my court. Um, over 50% of marriages now end in divorce. And I'm going to suggest to you that in El Paso County, we also have a different family dynamic where we are very close. All of us are very close. Our mothers are close to our sisters, to our uncles, to our cousins, and we have very large extended families. So I, I would suggest to you that either indirectly or directly, probably most people will actually come into my court. I think my court will touch more people than general civil litigants or uh, than most people find themselves in a criminal court. Okay, and you're right. Let me rephrase that. Most people that that will be voting have no legal background whatsoever okay. uh, and being able to determine what makes a good attorney one, one better than another much less what makes one judicial candidate better than another what are some things they should be looking at to make that determination the things that they should be looking at is I think the demeanor of a judge is hugely important how is it that people are going to be treated especially with the family court that is the most personal time of somebody's life you are married to the person that's at that other table and all of a sudden, everything that you ever held dear or in confidence is going to get spewed out into a courtroom in front of a judge, a court reporter, a bailiff, and whoever happens to be sitting around. You need to make sure that you have a judge that is going to maintain the integrity of the court, not let things get silly, not let anybody end up being humiliated or disrespectful to the other party. Um, I think it's very important that when you look at a candidate for a family court, you make sure you've got a candidate that is going to take the litigants very, very seriously and give them their due regard. Um, what do you think you bring to the table that's unique compared to the other uh, candidates in the race? Um, I have I, different things. First of all, um, I have a diverse education. Um, I went to UTEP. I got my undergraduate degree in psychology. I then moved on to St. Mary's University in San Antonio, Texas, and I received my MBA. Through that MBA, I went to Frankfurt and I studied international finance. From there, I went back to Texas and I went to Fort Worth and I got my law degree. While I was working on my law degree, I had an opportunity through the University of San Diego to go to uh, London and at Regents College in Regents Park, I studied international arbitration and litigation, which is important on the border. And I uh, also worked at a very large law firm. I then moved to Paris and I went to school at the Sorbonne and I studied international public law and I also studied international contracts. Again, international elements that are very important given that we're living here on the border. I came back to El Paso um, and I went ahead and I hung a shoot. With that, I opened a business. So I know how to run a business. And whenever people are getting divorced, there are all sorts of different elements. I'm a business woman, so I understand what the implications of that are whenever I have a couple of litigants that come in and they've got a business that they've got to figure out or they've got to figure out how they're going to allocate out these finances they have to now make two households work um, on basically one set of monies or on a challenge set of monies if there are two incomes or if there's a large property to divide, I'm able to do that as well. Um, in addition to that, I work very, very hard. Um, my three opponents, one of them works for the county attorney and, and there's not really any way to pull out exactly how many cases it is that she handles, but she only does one kind of case, protective orders. She doesn't do divorces. She doesn't do modifications. She doesn't do adoption. She doesn't do CBS hearings. So her her element is very, very limited to protective orders. Another one of my opponents has done about 240 cases in family law in the last five years. 
My other opponent has done about 396 cases in family law in the last five years. I have done 1,710 family law cases in the last five years. I'm on the 11th floor. I'm working every day. I'm in front of the judges. I'm practicing the law. I know the law. I know how the law is to apply to the families. I have a proven work ethic. That is what I bring to this bench. Uh, my final question, if you were talking to an undecided voter, um, thinking about uh, who they're going to cast their vote for, what would you tell them? I'll tell them to vote for me. I have a proven work ethic. I believe in the integrity of a court. I very, very much believe that whenever you're dealing with litigants in any court, I don't care what it is, it starts right there at the court. And whenever you've got judges that are sitting on the bench and they're making sure that their courts run the way they're supposed to run and not like a clubhouse or something else, then that is where you start with our citizens still maintaining the type of respect for our legal system that they should. In addition to that, I know the law. I'm not going to Mickey Mouse around with anything else. I know the law. I'm going to apply the law to the facts of the case. I'm going to be fair, and I'm going to watch out for our children. I love El Paso. I love being here. I'm in it. I'm in with our families. I know how it is that our families work and how to apply the law to our given situation. Why should you vote for me? Because I would make the best judge for the 380 Judicial District Court.